it's impossible to understand the mind separately from the body. Um, this is what I've spent my whole life studying. How does the mind relate to the body? And uh, my starting point, although not everyone will agree with me, my starting point is that the mind is the body from the inside. So being your body is your mind. Looking, when you look at yourself in the mirror, you say, there's a body. And that's the very same thing that you are feeling yourself as being from the inside. These are not two different things. So that's the, the, that's the first thing I want to say. The second thing is though, that nevertheless, uh, you do not have a mental and experienced version of everything that's going on in your body. You only experience some of the things that are going on in your body, especially what's going on in your brain and what your brain is connected with inside your body. There are many processes going on in your body which are completely unconscious, will always be completely automatic and therefore non-mental things, like for example, the beating of your heart, what we call peristalsis, the food going through your intestines, um, the regulation of your blood pressure, uh, etc. These things, you have nothing to do with them. The burning up of energy uh, in your fatty tissues. Your body is doing all these things, but you are not aware of them. Which is why it's important for us to also understand the body separately from the mind. From the mind's point of view, we, we can understand the subjective being of the body, and that's one aspect of it. But from the external point of view, we learn a whole lot else, which also constitutes what makes us tick which we have no way of ever knowing from the inside. So I think it's important for us to study both of them and to study them together. Knowing the body, studying the body only, is also never going to teach you the whole story because there are things that you can only see from the inside, like, for example, feelings. And we all know that feelings are what make us tick. If you don't take account of the feelings and of the subjective experience of the mind, the being of the person, you will never understand why they do what they do. We're not only bodies.